Today we're gonna go over what's faster, a traditional downhill free ride style shoe or your cross country mountain bike style. Pretty much the clip shoe for any top BMXer right now. I got the timers out, we're gonna find out exactly which one's faster. So this is kind of the old school, like my beginning elite days in pro. This is the style shoe we rode. It had the Nike shoe, the Van shoe that was out back in the day. That was like the cool shoe. But now the sport has turned to this very traditional like cross country mountain bike style shoe. And the reason for that is stiffness and lightweight. If you watch my pro bike build video I did, I go over tire weight and rotational weight and why it's important to have the lighter products on the outer of your wheels, like the heavy hub wouldn't matter as much. You wanna have that light rim, light tube, light tire combo. Well, that same concept should work with your clip shoes as you're pedaling. When you come out of the gate, you wanna have the stiffest shoe. It's like not having enough air pressure in your tires. If you're pushing out of the gate, but you got a real spongy tire, it's really gonna absorb a lot of that power. Same thing goes into your shoes. You want a real stiff shoe, because you want the stiffest shoe for the first couple pedals out of the gate, and then once you get going, you wanna have a light shoe, and you have the high speed cadence of your legs, then that's spinning it faster as well, right? So this is my Bont cycling shoe. I rode these shoes for like the last four or five years of my elite days. It's not the fanciest looking shoe, but it's by far the stiffest shoe on the market, at least as far as I'm aware of. I'm not sure of any shoe that's stiffer than this shoe, because look at it. like. It looks blown out, but the carbon actually wraps halfway around your foot. So when you're pedaling, there is zero flex. But hard to walk around in these shoes because I have actually cracked them from walking around so much. The, the shoe is meant to be stiff going this way. So if you're walking around pivoting on your toe, it's gonna weaken the carbon. Or it's gonna weaken any of your shoes. So you don't really wanna walk around in your clip shoes anyways. That's just something to keep in mind. I don't know what the idea behind a road cycling shoe is. I am fully against that. You'll never catch me on a BMX bike with road bike shoes. I don't know if the clip mechanism is just better or whatever, but I'm not even gonna touch that topic. These are my Aftons. These are my mountain bike shoes. Free ride, downhiller type shoe. I personally think this is a much better looking shoe. I just like the the edginess of it. The only reason I don't ride in BMX in these is because I have the stiff ones, but I really want to ride these. So I figured today, during my sprint session, I'm gonna go back and forth and we're gonna actually compare every time and see how much faster these shoes actually are. To make sure there's no like warm up effect, as in like you do a couple sprints, you get faster as you go. I actually just came straight from the gym, so I'm already warm. I uh, did a couple flat pedal sprints just to make sure everything's really firing. Instead of doing, say, the Bont shoes for four sprints and then the Aftons for four sprints, after each sprint, I'm actually gonna come over and I'm gonna change my shoes each time. Whenever my drop-off point is, at least I'll be going back and forth and one shoe won't favor the other. First, we're gonna start on the Bonts. Make sure the block stays in the exact same position. That way we start in the same position every single time. The timer is cleared out. Also, I have the timer set up at 60 feet. 60 at a slight downhill will start to get in a little bit of a spin. I figured that'd make it a little more true. All right, first time, 2.44. Probably have a four minute rest in between each one. Zeroed. Ooh, 2.45. Obviously we're only two sprints in, you don't wanna make a lot of judgment off of it, but that's not a big difference. The first thing I noticed, and it could be my pedals being the smaller setup, definitely feel the pressure under the ball of my foot, so you can feel there's a little, obviously a little bit of flex. With these shoes, you don't feel anything. Just feel the surface under your foot. It didn't feel bad, except it felt like it was folding over the outside of my pedals. It's obviously a wider shoe. See how much surface area hangs out? I feel like I could feel that part of the shoe folding over. I could do the bigger platform pedal, but then you're actually adding more weight to your, to your pedals. I really don't care, but for the purpose, I wanna teach you guys the process, so that's why I 
make a point to say it. I'm interested to try this out with a wider pedal, but I don't have any of the wider HTs, so. So far we got a 2.44 and a 2.45. That one actually felt pretty good. 2.46. We need to get a 2.44 right now to bring the Aftons even. I don't even want nothing to look at it. I'm gonna look at it with you guys. It's a, uh, no way. Yeah, 2.44. Granted, that was number four, so I'm sure I've warmed up a bit, but you obviously want to have the best setup, the lightest tires, you want to have the lightest bike, you want to have everything absolutely perfect, but then at the end of the day, it's BMX. Anything can happen. You could tap the gate, you could be a little late out of the gate, you could forget to go take a dump, and you got a couple extra pounds on you. There's so many different variables that make a first straight so much different, but we set ourselves up for that perfect gate. Obviously you want to get on the gate, you want to have the perfect gate, you want to have the perfect first straightaway and the perfect lap. It doesn't always go that way. Like I said, we plan for it, so we want to have all the good stuff for the chances of that one good lap. Maybe it's just my era of elite racing. I just, I think these shoes are way cooler than running around in tap shoes at a BMX race. Sprint number five in the Aftons. So I completely screwed that up. I forgot to change shoes. Number four was in the Aftons, and number five was in the Aftons. So now I'm gonna do six and seven in the Bonds. And that was a crap sprint, 2.48. Okay, sprint number six in the Bonds. Oh, fastest yet. 2.43 in the Bonds. 2.45. We're seven sprints in. I want to do 10, which I'm gonna do 10, but run out of sunlight. I apologize for the darkness. It got dark way quicker than I thought it was. Well, we gotta get the work in, people. <laughs> Can't see it. Sprint number nine, I'm up here in the black abyss. Coming your way in three, two. <laughs> All right, one more. Place your bets. Which one's gonna be faster? Oh! Sprint number nine, that's gonna be hard to beat. Oh man, did I hit the button? Damn it, I hit the button! It was a 2.42. One more sprint to make the Aftons live. Leave the timer down here with you guys so I can come up and we can look at the final verdict together. Sprint number 10 in the Aftons. I just heard a beep. Oh. Dog just came out of the shadow. I thought it was like a coyote or something at first. I really want to get a 2.43 at least. <laughs> Not looking at it. Any guesses? Oh, what? Man, that was garbage. 2.48. I'm gonna go do another one, just in case. Okay. Damn it, what is going on? So that was 2.37. That's way faster. I think that's a fluke. That's a huge difference. But maybe I knocked over the sprint block, but I have a mark where it sits. Maybe I set it too far back. There's only one way to figure it out. Zero it out, let's go do another sprint. And of course, I'm gonna have to go back and do the bond too. Yeah. 2.37, okay. Damn it! That just screwed up the whole science. Can you call it the science? 2.37, there was a mark on the concrete. I thought it was the mark from the rock. The sprint block is back a couple inches. If the timers are here, and you start right here every time, you only have this much room to get going. I think my block was back a few inches, so having just an inch or two further back start, you're going faster through the laser, which in return you're gonna get here quicker too, from point A to point B, so 
that's something to keep in mind. I've actually just screwed that whole thing up and that sucks. But we have two 2.37s now in the Afton shoes. So now I'm gonna go put the bonts on and I'm gonna do two more in the exact same spot. And if it goes how the other times were, we should get a 2.36. My mark is right here. But there's also a mark there from this scraping. So I'm gonna leave it in that spot. But that's a good three inches. So my sprint block was three inches further back. So I pretty much had an extra three inch uh, head start. So that's what happened there. My bad. But we're just gonna do more sprints and make up for it. Not looking at it. Turn the light. Oh shit, what do we have? Oh, 2.38. Athens are in the lead. So that was the problem. The sprint block was definitely too far back. That was pretty good. Oh. Oh, I told you we were gonna look at it together. My bad. There's so many factors. 2.38. I do love the bond shoe. But the Afton just looks so much cooler and feels so much more comfy. Is it really worth spending a couple hundred bucks on a set of carbon tap shoes that you, you one crash, break all the stuff on them? Or do you just get a set of Aftons that look dope and you'll go just as fast? I don't know. I legitimately thought I would come out here and the bonds would be quicker. Stiffer shoe, stiffer, lighter shoe. All right, so here's the numbers. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. We did 10 sprints. On that 10th one, the block fell over and I put it in the wrong spot. Then we did four more sprints in the new spot. First round of 10, Bont got a 42.44, Afton 2.45. Bont 4.6, Afton 4.4. Afton 4.8, that's not a good one. Bont 4.3, uh, Bont 4.5, Afton 4.5, Bont 4.2. First round of 10, the Bont shoes have the two fastest times. The second round of four, the Afton shoes got a 2.37, 2.37, and then the Bonds 2.38 and a 2.38. So I don't know, people. I don't know what to tell you. I legitimately thought the Bonds were gonna take this. I'm excited the times are so close because I wanna ride the Afton shoes. Those guys are awesome. They've supported me. Give me shoes, do whatever I want. That's awesome. I hope you got something out of this. Like I said, I thought it was gonna go in a completely different direction. It didn't. I mean, it's, it's, to be honest, it's pretty on par, but just don't hit the gate or be late. With that being said, I hope you guys learned something from this. And if you've made it this far and you're not subscribing already, I don't know what you're doing. I'm just giving out this free knowledge. And all you gotta do is hit subscribe. And maybe just click that like button too so more people can see it. So, until next Friday, thanks for watching. Peace.